The Earth communicates its history with us. And if we pay attention, take time to look and listen, we can start to put the pieces of Earth's history together. It's powerful to be that person who uncovers a bone and you realize when you uncover that fossil, you are the very first person ever to lay eyes on that fossil that has just been unearthed. And you work together to keep that small moment of time preserved because you want to share that with science and with other people. Beautiful! My name is Jana McKeeman and I'm a paleontologist. Right now we are in Wyoming and we are in a part of the country that has some of the coolest dinosaurs. We are actually going to work the area that is part of the Jurassic around 150 million years ago. Almost 2,000 bones have individual bones have been removed here and there could be thousands more. After the animals died, they were broken apart and jumbled up, probably by water. We have to extract these bones that are surrounded by a lot of other bones, um, you know, without breaking them. So it can be a challenge. My name is Sunita Colon, and I started working at the quarry here 12 years ago. I'm the quarry queen. I hold the key to uh, enter the place and I decide how many people can come at one time. My name is Brenda Johnson and I'm a volunteer field worker and preparator um, here at the quarry. We are trying to excavate and protect uh, uh, several specimens that were dug up by a prior group. So we're trying to get them covered, uh, wrapped, and out of here before they start to disintegrate. Because as soon as a fossil is exposed to air, it immediately starts to disintegrate. So when we uncover a bone, we have to work to preserve that bone in the field. A lot of the bones here belong to uh, most everyone's favorite, Stegosaurus, and uh, this was the age of Stegosaurus. So this was uh, discovered very recently, and we we're very excited about this. This is a tail spike from a Stegosaurus. Here's our little Stegosaurus model, and here's the tail, tail spikes. If you think about this structure being on this animal, you get an idea of how enormous the Stegosaurus is. Paleontology takes teamwork. When you're out here in the field, there's no ego. We aren't two voices, we aren't three voices, we're one. And we use that voice to work together. You have a bond that uh, is both scientific and personal that I find really fulfilling. It's just, uh, it's camping and treasure hunting all wrapped up into one. We all have dreams and aspirations and I believe in being that example where they can come true. They really can come true. All people bring something special to the table. Women bring a different perspective. What I would say to a young girl who really wants to get into this, don't give up. We need everybody. We need science because it is the foundation of what we learn and know. I do like working with women and, well, especially especially uh, Jenna, Jenna and Brenda, because they're so happy to share their knowledge without being, um, without any pressure. You do form a bond, you're, you're like a family, and it carries with you the rest of your life. It's just something all of us love, and we love to give 
what we find to science and to the public to learn from.